today I'm going to be teaching you one easy way of creating a coin pendant and you'll surely need some coins, a side cutter, a round nose pliers, a flat nose pliers, 22 gauge hard brass wire, a bottle top, a brass chain, a ruler to measure, any piece of blade that you have, a rag to polish your coins, and a solution to polish your coin called Polic. So I get this from any major supermarket in Kenya, or you can also buy it from Amazon or eBay. I'm going to be sharing more on where to get it down below. And you can see that it specializes with polishing brass, but it also does polish copper, zinc, stainless steel, chrome, ETC. But don't worry if you don't have this as, you can just use soap and steel wire and just rub your coin through to get rid of the dirt that is on the coin. Or also you can use a piece of cloth, like uh, a piece of jeans, and then you rub it through over and over again. It will take a while, but it will get clean. So let's get started. So using your polish, just give it a shake and put your coins in the bottle top. And then you pour in your polish just to cover all coins completely. And then now we'll leave that for 15 minutes. So after the 10 minutes, you take off your coins. For this process, I'm going to demonstrate with this 50 cent euro. Now you just need to rub it real hard. Now you can see the coin is, is clean and it's shiny. So now it's ready for use in our jewelry. So the next step is cutting a 40 centimeters brass wire. You'll want to hold up your coin. And then you locate the center of your brass wire, place it on the coin, and just below the center of the coin, lower your brass wire a few millimeters down, like that. Then you hold it firmly with your thumb. Then using your index finger on your other hand, just turn this on the back side. So while you've done that, using your flat nose pliers, just press this real hard, like that, so that the wire is bent around a coin on one end like that. Just bend the other wire on the, other, on the opposite end, just like you did the first time. Then you repeat the same process with the flat nose pliers to ensure that it's tight. And then what you want to do now is you want to slightly bend these two wires on the back like that. Then place your thumb at the center. Then turn your coin again as you support those at the center. Then again, bring in your flat nose pliers, place it at the center and press on both wires, like that. Okay? Then you want to hold this one and bend it on the other end. Then you hold this other wire with your thumb. Then you completely bend the first wire. Then repeat again what you did in the first step by holding the wire and the coin together with your flat nose pliers. Then bend the second wire on the opposite direction. So you have the wires on the back of the coin interlocking like that. Pick one wire, bring it to the center of the coin like that. Then bring it round the coin on top using your flat nose pliers come and press it real hard at the top so the piece of blade is to 
slightly expand this part of the wire so that we can slot in a wire underneath. And the wire that we are going to slot is the one that we've just brought above the coin. So cut it half a centimeter beyond where the where these two wires meet. Then now you want to slightly bend this like that. So you want to push this below that like that. Bring it around the vertical wire and twist it around like that tightly and since we have that extra piece of wire hanging around so we want to cut it so still using your flat nose pliers just press it so that it forms a loop around the first piece of wire like that and now we want to create a loop or we are going to use to attach our brush chain. Using your round nose pliers, place it half a centimeter above the coin. Then bring it round the round nose pliers while you hold it firmly with your right hand. Then give it a half turn on the right. Then turn your wire again, flat nose pliers, Hold the loop so firmly. Then we are going to turn this wire around that wire to form a spring around that wire. So hold this so firmly and we are only moving this like that. So just turn it tightly, ring after ring. Again. And finally, Until that wire has touched the coin, then that's okay. Then you can use your round nose pliers just to straighten that loop so that it's perfectly at the center, like that. So we are getting there. So then after that, you're going to hold that whole part with your flat nose pliers. Then we are going to turn this on top of the coin, like that. So once you've done that, so we are going to find a way how we can lock this into our structure. So we are, we are still going to do it as we did it with the first one. Just place it at the place where it meets all the other wires, like that. Cut your wire around a centimeter from where the wires meet, like that. Then using your flat nose pliers, you're going to bend it a little bit, like that. To facilitate it entering underneath this wire so that we can lock it around that wire. Bring it underneath and push it in. Then from the other end, let's pull it. And then we are going to bring it towards the left side, like that. And you're going to give it another press, a little bit. Then since that wire is hanging out, we're just going to cut it uh, several millimeters. And we are going to tuck it in so that we have a clean, nice finish. As far as we have it, now we have our coin pendant ready. Now we are going to prepare our brass chain. So in this process of finishing, we are going to need brass chain. We are also going to need a clasp. I forgot to mention that. And we are going to need more brass wire. So the first step, we are going to create infinity locks. You are going to place it right at the tip of your round nose pliers, hold this firm and give it a half turn on the right, bring your tool on the top, then give it another half turn. 
So, so far you have it like that. And then now we are going to hold it on this other end. And now we are going to bring it on this other side. Like that. And then you can cut that part off. So we are going to create four of those. And then now we are going to create a loop that is going to go right at the end of our brass chain. So to create the loop, you're going to bring right at the end of your round nose pliers, push that to the bottom, then push the other wire to the bottom so that you have a loop that looks like that. Okay. Then you're going to hold that with your flat nose pliers. Then using the small one, you're going to make round coils around it. Once you've done that, now cut off that bit and press it like that. Then now to finish it off, we are going to make a, a small loop on this other side. So what you need, you need to bring your wire right to the tip of your round nose pliers. Then bring it round the round nose pliers like that. So that you have a small loop like that. And we are going to trim off that extra piece of brass. So that is one part of the uh, finishing that we are going to use. That's a loop. And we are going to use this clasp to lock it in. So using the four um, infinity locks that we had, now you are going to use your flat nose pliers just to expand them on either side. Expand them. Then bring in your brass wire, brass, brass chain. Then locate the, the, last, the last piece of lock. Then you're going to insert one part of your infinity lock. Then you lock that part in, like that. Then using the other part of the infinity lock, which is already expanded, we are going to squeeze in or insert through the loop that we created on our coin. Then remember to press that part. Like that. So we have one piece that we have locked in. So we are going to repeat that using the other piece of brass chain that we have. So again, bring in your infinity lock and expand both ends. like that. Then locate the last part of your chain and insert your, inf your infinity lock. Then you press it to lock it in. Then using the other side that is already expanded, now we are going to insert it in on the other side of the loop, of the coin loop. So right now you have your coin that is chained up already, the finishing part. So again, expand your infinity locks on one side and on the other side. And also the other one. Then insert it on the last piece of lock like that. Then you're going to lock it in. Okay. And then on the other opened part of your infinity lock, we are going to insert our locking loop. Then give it a press on one end. Make sure it's completely tucked in for safety. So you'll notice that our clasp also has a small loop on one end. 
So bring in your infinity lock and insert one part like that. Then you pr press that lock. Then using the other opened piece of your infinity lock, we are going to we are going to attach it to the end of our chain. So again, locate the last link of your chain and insert the last piece of the infinity lock like that. Then you want to press that end so that it locks. It has a small a, a small piece that you press on one end like that. Then it opens up. It opens up a space that you can insert that ring. So you have it locked like that. And that's how you create your coin pendant.